Hi folks, welcome back to Brooklyn Club Mountain Works. So last week we were, or I was fortunate enough to, to harvest this nice mule deer buck. Um, and we decided to, to do a European mount on it. And so the process for that European mount is very much the same as it is for the bear skull video that we did not too long ago. Uh, with one, one striking difference uh, in that we have to account for the antlers on, on that mule deer. And so if you want to see that, that bear skull video for the full process, go ahead and click the link. So on the mule deer, uh, during that uh, whitening process, that, that peroxide boil, uh, you know, due to my own negligence, uh, I got a little carried away with the water level and, and, and the back of the antlers here got a little white. Let's see if we can take a look at that. All right, so right there and right there. And so what we'd like to do is restore that, that whiteness to its natural color. And so today we're gonna go over two techniques that, uh, that work real well for me. And, and both are very simple and, and cost efficient. Uh, the first one is really cost efficient and uh, just uses your old coffee grounds, right? Um, I like to let it sit for about 24 hours. So it's a day long process. Uh, to recolor those antlers using coffee grounds. And then the other process is a dry brush technique using any number of um, brown wood stains, right? Whether it's this brand or another brand, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, just any brown wood stain and uh, a paintbrush. And then your final step that we're gonna go over is uh, the use of some mop and glow um, to, to restore kind of a, a natural, not glossy but natural sheen uh, to those antlers. So let's get to it. So folks, on this first technique using coffee grounds, it's very simple. Uh, very carefully, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the morning's coffee grounds. They should still be a little moist and wet. And we're gonna carefully take those coffee grounds and we're just gonna apply them, kind of rub them in to the area that we want to recolor to that natural brown state. What's important here is that we don't get any coffee grounds on the area that's already been whitened. And so we'll just continue to do this to all the area that we want white. Excuse me, all the area that we want recolored brown. Ensuring that we don't get any on the, the white area. And once we are satisfied that we've covered all the portions of the antler that we want recolored, we're just gonna let this sit overnight. And what'll happen is, is our, those coffee grounds will, will recolor the affected area. And by the morning, they'll be dry and we'll just brush them off or blow them off with a with an air compressor either way on uh, the part that was whitened will now be brown it's that easy folks all right folks so we're going to use the dry brush technique to recolor the other side of this ant this uh mule deer's antlers uh, so this is real simple as well uh, what you'll need is your your brown wood stain a rag and a, a paintbrush so the first thing we want to note is that when looking at the antlers in their natural color, it's not a completely uniform, solid brown color. There's striations. There's parts that are darker and there's parts that are lighter. And so if we're not careful with this technique, uh, what we can end up doing is recoloring this portion too dark. Um, and so that's why we want to use what's called a bride, bride brush technique. And so we'll take our brush and we'll dip it into our our wood stain and then we'll take our rag and we'll get rid of most of that stain that we just got on there and then very carefully we'll just br brush in to the affected area that stain and then what we want to do is drag some of that stain into the part that is already naturally colored and that'll that'll create a nice blending. And so with this technique, 
we're already done. And so once that dries, and once the other side dries with the coffee grounds, we'll go into the last stage, which is the mop and glow stage. So folks, uh, our wood stain is dry, and I've brushed off all the coffee grounds from the coffee ground side. And if we take a look at both sides, we can see back here where it was white. Uh, both sides have produced very similar results. Uh, both with the coffee grounds and with the wood stain. Both of them have their drawbacks and their advantages. Um, all in all, I think if you're careful, I would prefer the wood stain uh, technique. It's quicker and uh, kind of provides better coverage. The only, the only concern with the wood stain version is if you fling that brush, you know, if you're, if you're brushing and you go like this, you might get some spots on your, on your bleached side. But uh, that aside, we're ready for our, our next and last step. And so that last step is real simple. It just involves some mop and glow that we're just gonna brush on uh, to these antlers. And so we'll take our mop and glow, pour just a little bit into a cup. Not much, just a little. And we're just gonna brush this on those antlers. It produces after it dries, a real nice natural sheen. And again, not glossy, but natural and, and almost alive looking. And it's gonna, it's gonna stand out that much more. And so folks, I'll finish those antlers uh, with that mop and glow, but really that's, uh, that's about it. So again, click that link for the bear skull video uh, and good luck with your next European mount.